Hello, students. I welcome you all to today's analysis of GATE exam 2021 of English literature. I welcome you all on the behalf of the Paul Education. And here in the session, I'm going to analyze the questions which I'm able to recall from uh, the exam. So these questions and answers are based on memory. If you feel you can add some more questions, kindly send your question in the comment box. The first question that was asked was Henry James studied which author before writing his essay Arts of Fiction? So the answer was Nathaniel Hawthorne. It was an MCQ question. Henry James was too much influenced by the works of Nathaniel Hawthorne and he made a book length study on this American author. Coming to the second question, Clinic Brooks analyzed which author before writing his essay Whale wrote Earl? So he analyzed various uh, authors, uh, uh, William Wordsworth, Tennyson, Cates, but basically his full length study was on John Cates' Ode on a Gracian Earl. So John Cates is the right answer. The third question is about the Plato, who uh, is regarded as uh, the propounder of the art of mimesis. So it is uh, the answer is the Plato's Republic. The next question, the fourth question was a quotation that was given. This quotation was from the modest proposal by Jonathan Swift. Question number fifth was in which work there is a narration of stories by the characters. So the answer was uh, Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Question number six, that was a, another MCQ. Uh, it was about Milton's Aeropagitica that was published in 1644. It was, the right answer was, it was about the censorship on the freedom of expression. The next question was to identify a uh, few uh, works that were uh, within a uh, story, within a story was there. One I can remember is Wuthering Heights and there was one more work I'm not able to recall. Uh, if you uh, recall those works, kindly send uh, this uh, work into the chat box in the comment. The next question was about uh, the prolapses where uh, we had to identify a few quotations. One quotation was uh, Hamlet, I am dead. Uh, this was uh, from Hamlet. Apart from that, there was one more quotation, which was also uh, the setting was in the future and the narrator was trying to recall the moments from the past. The next question was about the new historicism. Right, uh, it was an MSQ question, multiple select question. The first right option was new historicism does not strict delineation between literary and non literary text. And the other right option was it takes history into account to understand the meaning of a text. The next question was this quotation. And uh, they have asked which theory it belongs to. So this quotation was belongs to uh, Roland Barthes. Uh, what death of the author and Roland Barthes is a post structuralist. So the right answer to this question is post structuralism. Question number 11. Uh, the question was to identify which among the following is not an autobiographical work. So it was untouchability by Mulkraj Anand. The next question was again an MSQ question about uh, Gayatri SP walks. Can the subaltern speak? So the right answer was that the subalterns, the people who are writing about the subalterns, they are speaking on the behalf of the subalterns because they cannot speak. Uh, in that, there was also an option that femininity is a metaphor for colonization. Uh, so these were the two right answers. Thirteen question was setting of the novels in Bombay. They, are, they have given different works, novels. So Midnight's Children by Shalman Rasti and The Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery. These two novels are set in. Bombay. The next question was about the assertion and reason question about the Dalit writers. I'm not able to recall the entire question. If anyone of you are able to recall, kindly send me the question in the chat box in the comment section. Uh, the next question was uh, to identify a few of the uh, one uh, quotation was given and we had to identify uh, this quotation represents which uh, philosophy of Mikhail Bakhtin. So the quotation was like uh, it was the <clears throat> it was the setting of early 19th century and uh, the setting was in the rural area and it was uh, about uh, 
living and the non-living things. So this was a kind of quotation given. So uh, the right answer is chronotop. Chronotop means uh, the configuration of time and space. When he is giving the time, 19th century, early 19th century, it's a time. A space means uh, it's a rural area. It's uh, it's about the living and the non-living things, isolated area. So time and space were represented in that quotation. So the right answer to this question was chronotop. The next question was about implied reader. You know, implied reader was a concept given uh, given by is by Wolfgang, Wolfgang Isser. So Wolfgang Isser said that this implied reader is a kind of reader who is able to create the text by himself. So that was the right answer. Coming to the next question, question number 17. Uh, uh, we had to identify it was an MC, uh, MSQ question, uh, which in the novels were the rewriting of the novels. So you know, White Sargasso C is the rewriting of uh, Charlotte Branty, Jane Eyre, and Four uh, is the rewriting of Robinson Crusoe. Four by Zane Kutsi is the rewriting of Robinson Crusoe. So these two were the right answers. Uh, there was a question about Jane Eyre. Uh, they have asked about uh, Jane Eyre were written in three volumes. That was right. It was again an MSQ question. It was about the heterosexuality in the marriage. Again, it was right. And it was written under the, under the uh, pseudonym of Karar Bell. So these three were the right uh, options. In that question, there was one more question about uh, G. V. Desani's. The right option was G. V. Desani, who has written this novel all about H. Hatterer. The next question about the metafiction. The metafiction is the fiction when, in which the complexity is there in the novel. Uh, the protagonist is not able to share anything directly. So there were two options given. Uh, the both complexities, both options that were very complex in nature. They were the right answer. There was a passage given where uh, you, we have to identify that what kind of figure of speech is there in the passage. So the right answer was irony. Uh, there was another question on the ode to the West Wind, where again we have to uh, uh, find out the figures of speech. The right answers were aporia and a smile. There was another question. Uh, they have asked about the cross dressing the sex pair, which uh, female uh, from which place the female uh, characters has disguised in the form of uh, male character. So that is uh, three plays as you like it, Twelve Night and The Merchant of Venice. So these three were the uh, main uh, characters. Uh, this question was directly asked uh, from my book. You can see here. Uh, these are the seven plays of Shakespeare where cross dressing of both man and women are uh, described. So first one was as you like it. I am showing uh, my book World Literature in Your Feast and Assortment of English Literature. So on page number 139 you find the answer to this question. So as you like it, Rosalind disguises as Ganymede, Celia disguises as Alina. The next option was the Merchant of Venice where Portia is disguises as Balthazar and Narisha disguises as clerk of lawyer. And uh, the third option was the 12th night. So in the next page, you'll see here 12th night. Uh, Vila is disguised as Cesario and Feast as Topaz. So these were the uh, main characters who were disguised, who were the female characters and disguised as the male characters. So uh, coming back to the next question, I have... Uh, uh, discussed 23 questions coming to question number 24. The question was which event did not take place in 1919? There were various answers uh, were given. The right answer is Foundation of uh, Indian Writers Association. This was in 1936. Apart from this, uh, the, the more options were like uh, the serialization of James Joyce Ulysses was there in the 1919. Uh, Ramindranath Tagore has returned his uh, Nobel laureateship in the 1990s. These were the right options and this was the wrong option. So we had to identify uh, which did not took place in 1990. There was another question, first college of teaching English literature in the world. So the right answer is, uh, it's the University of Oxford, although it's the second university, but University of Bologna was not there in the option. So the right option here will be University of Oxford. It was uh, founded in the year 1096. Bologna University was uh, founded in 1088. University of Paris was the third one, 1167, and the Cambridge University was the fourth one in 1209. Who wrote on magic realism? 
Uh, there are various options given. The right option is Kamala Das and Svetlana Alexovic. Uh, there were various uh, matching questions. One was matching of translators like Madhavi Kutti, uh, who has written my story in Malayalam. And when she changed her name as Kamala Das, she herself translated her autobiography from Malayalam into English. So Madhavi Kutti is to be matched with Kamala Das. A.K. Ramanujan, Rites of Passage uh, of your Anandamurti was translated by A.K. Ramanujan. So, uh, so two more uh, options were there. If you can recall, kindly send me the comment box. There was one uh, more question about the matching of genres. Evam Andrajit by uh, Badal Sarkar. It, was, uh, it is regarded as an absurd play. Uh, then Hagasi Ram Kotwal by Vijay Tendulkar. It is a political fiction. Two more options were there in this matching genres. Coming to the next question. Uh, there is a question on the mild literature. So mild literature is a work written by Giles Deleuze, Felix Guthari, and Robert Brinkley. Uh, here they are representing uh, French Kafka, who is uh, who was a minor author. And uh, the meaning of minor literature is constructing minor, uh, constructing the major language using uh, using the minority citizens who are in the minority. They construct. Uh, their work with a major language. So we see that Franz Kafka has written his novels, although he was from the minority, he wrote in English language. The famous novel of Franz Kafka is The Castle. <clears throat> there was one quote, uh, quotation given, uh, and it was by a few feminist authors, and uh, it was an MSQ question. One option was all are the feminist authors, and some more options were given. I'm not able to recall those. Uh, then there was a question uh, regarding uh, Bram Stoker Dracula, where we had to identify which among the following is not correct. So it was not a building instrument, although it is in the form of letters and obviously it's a Gothic novel. So uh, it is not a building instrument is the right answer. There was a question to uh, identify a uh, kind of theme in the various novels. One novel among them was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Apart from that, three more authors were there. So the setting, the theme of these novels are about the political uprising. As you know, the Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens is set during uh, French Revolution 1789. And there was a question about the Sherlock Holmes. Uh, where, uh, uh, what are the places where colonialism is observed in uh, Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes? So uh, these are the questions that uh, I'm able to regulate out of 40. I'm able to regulate 33 questions. And if any one of you are able to find some more questions, kindly send me in the comment box and I'll send you the answer to the questions. Thank you so much for staying with us till end and uh, uh, best of luck to all of you for your exam, for your result. Thank you so much.